<clears throat> All right, here we go. The culmination, the pinnacle, the top of the pile. This is where we've been going. Order of operations with integers. Now that we've done adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing with integers, we now can go into using them in bed mass. Now the acronym bed mass, remember, bed mass means brackets and exponents first. So first thing you do is you look for brackets, then you try to calculate the exponents, then remember, and this is very important, divide and multiply in the order they appear. So it's not divide first, then multiply. It's not multiply first, then divide. It depends on what comes first. That's what you do. Same thing for add and subtract. It's not add, then subtract. It's not subtract, then add. It's what comes first. So here's a simple question. 8 times 6 plus 32 divided by 4. Now, obviously, you can put this in your calculator. You can press equals, and those of you who have order of operation questions, it'll kick your answer out, but you would not know what the answer is. Okay? So let's take a look at what we would do if you made a mistake. Let's go 8 times 6. That's 48. Note, I'm doing this wrong. 48 plus 32, that is 80. And 80 divided by 4 is 20. Now, this is wrong. Why? What did I do first? I multiplied. But what did I do second? I added. What should I have done before adding? I should have done dividing. So this is incorrect. How do we do it correctly? Well, let's take a look. I've got 8 times 6 plus 32 divided by 4. Bed mass, B, brackets, no brackets. E, exponents, no exponents there. Multiply and divide in the order you appear. Is there a multiplier or divide? Yes, there is, right here. So there's the first thing you've got to do. 48 plus 32 divided by 4. Okay, multiply and divide. Is there any more multiplying or dividing to do? Yes, there is, right here. 32 divided by 4. So 48 plus 32 divided by 4 is 8. Now, 48 and 8 is 56. You'll notice each line contains only one calculation, no shortcuts. Okay? Why is this answer not 20? You never... Come on, slide up. Just complete left to right. You never do this. Now, I say never, but sometimes it might be that you end up doing it anyway. But you don't go left to right. You always follow bed mass. Okay, now the bed mass is done on an easy one. Um, let's try this one. This one's got some brackets in it. So, remember bed mass, B-E-D-M-A-S. Okay, I got messed up here. <clears throat> bed mass, okay? Now remember, these are groups. They're not orders. Okay, brackets. Whoa, we have brackets. 6 plus 32. So that means I first do this, that's 38. Don't forget the rest. Okay? Now, the next one is 8 times 38. Well, 8 times 38... 8 times 8 is 64, put the 6 there, 24, that's 304, divided by 4. And now, 304, divided by 4, that's 28, 7, 2, 4, 6, 24, subtract 0, your answer is 76. Okay? So, if you don't have a calculator, you can do it the old-fashioned way like I did, but there's your answer. Add first, because it's brackets, then multiply, then divide. Now, the one on the bottom here has got a little bit of a twist in it. You'll look in here and you'll see a plus and a divide. In this situation, what you have to do is do the inside of the brackets kind of like its own question. Okay? So, inside that brackets, you have a plus and a divide. What comes first, adding or dividing? And that would be dividing. So, this is the first part of the calculation you're going to do. 8 times 6, put the brackets in, plus... Eight. So there's what you've got for the first one. Now we're still not done the brackets, so 6 times 8 is 14. And now we have 8 times 14. And of course 8 times 14 is 112. 
Okay. In this case, make sure you follow the order of operations inside the brackets. Don't just go left to right. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to see if you can do something funny here. I want you to take and put down um, any five integers between negative 10 and positive 10. You must have at least two negatives. So I'm going to go negative 1, negative 3, because my two negatives, positive 4, positive 2, and positive 5. Okay? Now it says use any operation or brackets to create the expression that has the highest value. Okay? The highest value. And you must use one of each of the math functions. So I've got an add, subtract, and multiply, and a divide. So I've got to make sure this gets as big as possible. So to make this happen, I need to think about what adding and subtracting and adding does. Adding makes things get bigger. Subtracting makes them get smaller. Multiplying makes them get bigger. And uh, dividing makes them get smaller. But because of integers, I've got to pay attention to the signs. Okay? So this here type of a question, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not even going to do this one is trial and error. So if we were trying to make it work, you're going to have to take a look and try to figure it out. Try to make the biggest numbers. 4 times 5 is the best way to make, I guess I'm going to do it, the biggest number there. Okay? That gives me positive 20. All right? So that's the first thing I want them to do. Now remember, that's my multiply. So I've got my multiply done. I've used this, and I've used that. So now I've got a negative 1, a negative 3, and a positive 2 left. Okay? Now, if I want to make it bigger, <coughs> what I'm going to do is I need to do a divide, a add, and a subtract. Now, I don't want to make things too bad, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and try to make the negative 3 and the negative 2, I want them to be as big as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go positive 2 minus negative 3. Um, nope, if I do that, then I'm going to get a divide. Uh, negative 1's not work, is it? Okay, so let's go with this back up. Okay, I've done multiplication. Let's do addition. Okay, so now let's add to this negative 1. Okay, because that's going to be the smallest change. So now I've got net positive 19. Okay, now I've gotten rid of my net, my add. Now I'm going to do my subtract, and I'm going to subtract negative 3. Okay, and remember adding the opposite. If I subtract negative 3, this is going to become 19 plus 3, right? So I now have 19 plus 3, which is 22. I'm still in positive. Now, I've done my dividing here. So, what's left? I've got to divide. And what number do I have left to work with? Uh, one, the negative one's been done, the negative three, the two. I've got to divide by two. I don't think I did a very good job here. My answer is 11. I think you probably could get a bigger number. Right? But this is how you have to do it. You have to try trial and error. See if you can get bigger and bigger. Okay? So, the next part of this question would be how to get the smallest. Okay? And to get the smallest, you want to make the biggest negative number. Okay? I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to do this one for you. Let's just go on to our next question of order of operations. Here is order of operations. You'll notice I get two sets of brackets. When you encounter two sets of brackets, you notice the square ones here, right? Do them in the order they appear. So, negative 6 plus positive 2. It's negative 4. Okay? One calculation per line. Okay, so I've got this, this first one done. Let's go to the next set of brackets. Add the opposite. That becomes negative 3 plus positive 5. So this becomes positive 2. So now I've got negative 4 divided by positive 2. The answer to that is negative 2. All right. And notice that I've got one, two, three mathematical functions, and you'll see that I have one, two, three lines. Next one. What happens when you have a fraction? 
or a denominator and a numerator. When you get to this situation, what you do is you bring the denominator up, numerator out, and you put this over here, and we're going to be dividing by that. So you're going to take whatever's in the numerator, work it out. You're going to take whatever's in the denominator, if there is work to do, and work that out, and then at the very end, you're going to do the, subtra the division. So here I have negative 1 times negative 4, so that is positive 4. I now have negative 8 plus positive 4. Okay, negative 8 plus positive 4. This is now going to give me negative 8. Sorry, negative 4. And of course, divided by negative by 2, that's a negative. And of course, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. All right? You'll notice there's four calculations there. All right? It should be 1. Two, what have I done wrong here? Oh, I copied the question down, that's why. So, one, two, three answers. One, two, and then this is a divide. Okay? All right, why don't you try the next one? All right, taking a look at this, remember, brackets, there's no brackets to worry about. Exponents, there's no exponents to worry about. Multiplication and division, well, I have a multiply right here. So my first step is to do that. Copy down the rest. I'm going to add a negative 4 times a negative 4. That is a positive 16. Signs are the same, so it's positive, and 4 times 4 is 16. Okay? So that takes care of my first calculation. Now, let's take a look at the next one. I've got to divide there. So this one comes next. So, negative 4 plus positive 16. Now, minus, I got 4. That's a negative here. I forgot that. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, positive 1. Negative divided by negative is a positive, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay? Now, next step is adding and subtracting in the order they appear. Adding comes first here, so negative 4 plus positive 16 is positive 12. And, of course, positive 12, take away 1, is positive 11. So there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, ma 4, mathematical functions, and one, two, three, four answers. Okay, let's go a little bit complicated. Now, when you get to these types of questions, split them up, do them first, and then take your final fraction and work it out. So what I'd like you to do first is do the numerator, find your answer, and then do the, nominator, do the denominator and find your answer, and then stop, and uh, I will help you. Okay, so here we go. What you have to start with is that one. That's negative. So negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. Don't forget to copy out the rest. Okay, now, where's the next one? We get a divide here, don't we? Right there. So negative 1 plus negative 1 minus a 1 divided by negative 1. The signs are different, so that's negative 1 plus negative 1. Now, I've got negative 1 and negative 1 here, so that's a negative 2. Okay, I'm kind of running out of room here. Uh, negative 1 minus negative, sorry, negative 2 minus negative, negative 2 minus negative 1 is negative 1. I'm going to go down here. Negative 1 plus negative 1. And negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, so my top number is going to be a negative 2. Let's take a look at our denominator. I've got to do the division first. Negative divided by negative is a positive. One divided by one is one. Okay? And negative one plus negative one, that's a zero. Remember, adding the opposite. All right? So that means this is going to be a one, positive one. Now, take the negative two. That was our numerator. Our one, that's our denominator. It's positive. Negative two divided by one is negative two. Okay, hopefully you got that correct. Turn the page, and I have a challenge question for you. All right, again, split it up and do it, and put it in its denominator, or sorry, in its fraction form. All right, if you get a decimal in this one, you've done something incorrectly. So, pause the recording and do it. Okay. 
Next thing, negative 5, positive 6. I'm going to copy out the numerator. Be very careful not to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you can never get it right. Here's my denominator. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at the denominator first. Can multiply or divide? Sorry, brackets first. Do I have brackets? Yes, I do. Negative 8 minus negative 3. Add the opposite. That means that these negatives, 3 are going to cancel, so my answer here is negative 5. Okay? And now I've got negative 5 plus 6, negative 6 here. Okay, now, multiplication or divide in the order they appear. 5 times 6 is 30. The signs are different. That means it's negative. Okay? Now, dividing. The signs are the same. The answer is positive. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So my numerator is going to be 6. Now, move over to the denominator. There's no brackets, but we do have a multiplication at the beginning. 3 times 8 is 24. Negative times a positive is a negative. Copy out the rest of it. Okay. My next one is a multiplication right here. Now, the thing is, this has got a 10 here, but it's got no sign on it, remember? Numbers with no signs are always positive. So, negative 24, that doesn't change. 10 times 2 is 20. And the positive times a positive is a positive. Okay. Now, we have to add or subtract in the order they appear. So I've got negative 24 plus 20. That's the first question. That means I've got a negative 4 here. Okay. Remember adding the opposite? So the answer here becomes negative 2. Now, put them over each other like they're supposed to. This is positive 6, my numerator. Negative 2 is my denominator. So positive divided by negative is a negative, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. There's your final answer. Okay. Hopefully you got it. If not, go back over what I've done and do the best you can. Come and see me if you need any help, and I will see you next lesson.